In this video, we are going to discuss carb ratio and correction factor to help us determine how much insulin a patient needs. But first off, what is a carb ratio? A carb ratio refers to how many units of insulin are needed to cover the amount of carbohydrates that are eaten in a meal. If your carb ratio is one to 10, that means that one unit of insulin is given per 10 grams of carbohydrates eaten. The amount of carbohydrates in the food you eat are located on the Nutrition Facts label. If Nutrition Facts are not available, you can search the nutrition information for the food items on the internet. To figure out our carbohydrate dose, we need to divide our carb ratio from the number of carbs eaten. Let's use this calculation sheet. If you ate a bag of chips with 50 grams of carbs and divided it by our carb ratio, which is 10, our carb bolus dose would be five units. So now that we've talked about carb ratio, what is a correction factor? A correction factor is used to calculate insulin doses to correct high blood glucose. This correction factor also tells us how many units of insulin are needed to get the blood glucose closer to the patient's target range. Let's say that our target range is 70 to 180 with a correction target of 120. Now, let's figure out the correction bolus dose using our calculation sheet. For this example, let's say our correction factor is 50. Our current blood glucose result is 220, and our correction target blood glucose is 120. We then subtract 120 from 220, giving us 100 points to correct. This number is then divided by our correction factor, which is 50, giving us a correction bolus of two units. To figure out our total bolus dose, we need to add the carb bolus and the correction bolus together. By adding the carb and correction boluses together, our total bolus dose is seven units of insulin. If you have any questions, contact your child's provider.